digital maps. We're all familiar with the standard sectional, like what's on the screen right now. Of course, with a sectional or with an IFR high or an IFR low chart, the text is completely readable and completely usable, providing that you have the map face up. The problem, of course, is that when you fly, you often want to use what's called track up mode, which you can do in FlyQ by tapping a button on the screen. The problem, of course, is that now we are no longer hitting north, but hitting in a somewhat diagonal fashion, so all the text is at a funny angle and difficult to read. The solution to this is, of course, to use a system that doesn't rely on a scan chart, a pre-composed chart like this, but a digital chart. So to enable that in the product, tap the layers pop-up, like this, and you notice in the upper left side on maps, there's a new item at the top called digital. I'll select the digital chart. And now I will deselect the VFR chart. I'll explain why in a second and tap off the screen. At this point, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I see a number of items on the screen. These are all airports. The green are controlled airports and the magentas are uncontrolled airports for the most part. The interesting thing, of course, is that now all the text is straight up. We can do more than airports, however. A new button appears on the left hand side on the map bar. At the very bottom, it looks like a four segment uh, connected square. If I tap on that, I can control the layers on my screen, the digital layers. So for example, I can add nav aids to the screen. I can add waypoints. I can add airspace. And I can add airways as well. So in this way, you can create a what's called a vector map or a digital map that is generated by FlyQ on the fly, as it were. So it's generated from a computerized worldwide global database. So you're no longer restricted to what you'd see in a sectional. As an example of this, I'm going to go into split screen view. This is now the same view on both sides of the screen. Clearly the sectional on the right hand side has a, is a lot more difficult to read than the digital map on the left hand side. This is more, even more apparent when you're switched to maybe an IFR chart. So for example, on the left-hand side where I have the digital, I'm going to actually overlay, because this is something that the digital map allows, the digital with the IFR low chart. So let me pop off. Now at this point, it looks pretty much the same. You just see a white chart, which is a standard IFR low chart, and you see some um, airports and nav aids on the screen. If I were to deselect the digital, that's what the paper one looks like. On the left-hand side, you can see a standard paper IFR low chart with text, which is, of course, difficult to read because it's wrong side up. But if I were to also overlay the digital map on top of it, you can now see much more clearly where the fixes are, the nav aids, the airports, the airways, and so on. This is also particularly important and particularly helpful if you were to use a type of map that is really not made for aviation. So, for example, I'm going to switch this to roads so I now have both the digital map and the roads layer on at the same time. In fact, just to make this more clear, I'm going to switch out of split screen mode into single screen mode by hitting the splitter at the top of the screen. So now at this point, I have what is effectively my own private aviation map. I can take a look at a road layer, a satellite layer, anything like this, and superimpose on it actual airspace information. So in this way, you also have the ability to have the system automatically clutter and declutter the screen. So as I moved out, notice that certain elements of the graphics display turned off because they were too cluttered to read near in. And then other elements, when you zoom in, become visible. Now again, you can do this in either an overlay fashion here where the digital map is overlaid on top of another one, or if you turn off the, all the other layers and just leave the digital one on, at this point, you have strictly a digital map with a very clear, very simple background color. And you can make this as complicated or as simplified as you like. So for example, maybe just leave on nav aids and airports. Now, if I zoom in, that is exactly what I see. I see a nav aid at KPDX, Portland. Like this, that's the airport. I see the nav aids next to it. I see the battleground BTG nav aid and so on. And of course, as I rotate the screen, all the text stays straight up like that. That is what a digital map is useful for.